hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. So who wants to know how successful sexy women count calories? I was not supposed to be successful. Hey there, Casey Ship here, fitness model hormone expert and a master energy healer. I help goal-oriented women clear out the reason why nothing has worked and finally step into their purpose and get everything they've ever wanted. So that's what I help women do. You know, a lot of women, six-figure gals, seven-figure gals, they get burnt out. I find themselves, you know, their hair's falling out. Anybody's hair ever fell out? Mine, mine sure has. I've had cystic acne. I've had hypothyroid. I've had adrenal issues, IBS. Man, doctors, functional medicine doctors couldn't do anything. They all told me, we don't see anything. Or here's this, here's that. This looks normal. Man, I've tried testosterone, everything. Not until I got to the root of the reason why I was struggling in the first place did I ever find what I was looking for. So I'm here to bring the truth. Save your money on supplements. Save, save it. Save your time. I'm here to save you a lot of time. A lot of us don't have a lot of time to work out. So, and don't worry, I'll give you a free training as well. But today, I want to share a little bit about what happened at pole class. So, I do pole class. And the other day, I did turkey twerk after Thanksgiving. Uh, turkey twerk, man, it was a great class. It was a 90-minute class. And I just, I, you know, I need hip mobility and I like shaking it. I like shaking it. So, we were in there and it was, it was a solid class. And the girl... Right when she was asking about it, who was sweating? She was like, man, who's sweating? Who's doing this? And she looked at her watch and she said, holy crap, 600 and something calories burned. And all the other women were talking about what they ate. And I was like, oh, man, I remember this, the eating disorders, because that's what that is. That's a disordered eating. No shame. No shame. I had it. Dude, I used to tell my clients, like, we're just coming clean right here. I used to tell my clients, if you eat this, make sure to train legs and sprints the next day and blah, 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 blah. Girl, I'm not proud of it. It's where I was at. And at the time, like calories in, calories out, yeah. But we're past that. Our bodies are like, F you. No matter what we're doing, the weight's not coming off. So what I found that works for me and a lot of thousands of other women that I've helped, and we balance hormones and all that as well. But the sad thing is that women think that burning calories is how you lose weight. Now, before you bro, people get in here it's like, science proves that calories in calories out like I'm not even talking to those people okay that was like in our 20s when we counted macros and we're doing all the stuff and we're in the bodybuilding world and all that stuff now our bodies have caught up with us and all the the, the burnout has happened the stress has hit its max autoimmune diseases have come through tell a woman that has Hashimoto's that she just needs to watch what she eats dude I'm not gonna be around cuz she gonna slap you and at the core of the, our issues is shame shame so not until you clear the shame will any of the food stuff ever clear up because in your mind deep down in your subconscious there's always this mom mom's voice or dad's voice or somebody's voice or your voice when you would look at everybody else and think that you were the thick girl or you weren't good enough or you weren't this this or that or mommy told you you need to stop eating that or that you need to do this you need to do that or whatever at the core of weight issues, whether you're a skinny girl, a hot girl, or an overweight girl, whatever, if there's a struggle there and a, and a holding on tightly to what we're, what we're eating and how many calories out and how many calories in, dude, there's stuff way beneath the surface that needs to be addressed. The food is like a disguise of what's really going on under the surface. And, and just think about it. Just look. Logically. I mean, how many times have you done a diet? How many times? And I'm not throwing shame here. But if you feel shame, it means you need to clear the shame. I have tools to clear the shame. Don't worry. But how many times have you tried to do diets and you try to do all this and burn the calories? Da, 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 and it's just a yo-yo. It's just a freaking cycle, man. Aren't you tired of that cycle? A different approach would be, okay, we, we can do some things science base where we do food and gut tests to see like hey your maybe your body needs this instead of that so just stay away from that but by the time you're supposed to stay away from that you're having a bad day and you're not thinking and you just eat it and then like, you see what i'm saying so something else is driving us do you see our emotions are driving us if we were logical clearly this is not you know there's poop in here which is gluten to some of you it treats you like you're eating poop logically you wouldn't eat that because it's not good for you. So why do we do it? It tells you there's something going on beneath the surface. There's an emotional tie to it. Because logically, we wouldn't eat something that's poop, right? So there's an emotion. There's something tied up in it, right? And that's what you have to start addressing is the subconscious stuff. The stuff that nobody teaches about in the little happy, happy diet online program. You got to go to your shadow stuff. The stuff that's not so fun. The why we do things and why we think the way we do. And 
why we don't think the way we need to be thinking. Not until I addressed my underlying reasons for why I wanted to beat myself silly in the gym, why I wanted to drink caffeine to keep pushing myself to do more in the gym, not until I addressed the reason why I wanted to starve myself, not until I addressed those voices in my head when I went to eat something that should I or shouldn't I? Not until I addressed that did I find freedom. And mind you, my body looks better than it did before. I mean, I've got pictures where I, I easily was, was like better conditioned than I was on stage. And when I was on stage, I mean, I told you, I mean, I had, I had autoimmune issues. I had cystic acne, IBS, depression, no libido, hypothyroidism. Doctors would tell me, oh, you're normal. <laughs> Please. Uh, naturopaths had me on like 50,000 supplements hair loss. You see all these women nowadays, hair loss, fertility issues. What do you think it is? It's from years of beating ourselves silly in the gym, forcing ourselves when we didn't have any energy and starving ourselves. Why? Because we hated ourselves. We were taught that because loving yourself is relaxing and resting when you're tired, not reaching for the coffee or reaching for the caffeine because you are too tired to go do that workout. You need to do a different form of exercise. Oh, but that won't get me this. It says who? Like, where did you learn this stuff? And I'm not talking to the bro bodybuilders, like, please. And I would love, 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 love any woman that you see on the internet with a bad ass body. Which work she's had done, because I know plastics, baby. What work she's had done, I need to see her blood work. I need to see her marital status. I want to know how happy she is in her marriage. I want to know how, how she is with her children, okay? I want to know how many times she poops a day, how many, how many antidepressants she's on, how many medications she's on, how much money she has, and what she's running. Because if you can back up all that, sis, I may listen. But when you buy into this shit online, you got to make sure you're, you're buying into what they're selling, like, fully. And I know who I help. And it's women who has a lot going on, mothers, big careers, okay, that, that, their, that their, well, their well-being affects a lot of other people. It's not just stay-at-home moms where it ends with them and their kids. This is women who's doing big things. They're working. They have careers and their moms and their wives and their whatever, all right, and they want to be hot. You can't tell her that she needs to work out an hour every day and do cardio and follow what she and do this and do that. No, that's where she gets burnt out. So how sexy, successful women count their calories is they don't because we're way beyond that. I get sad when I see this because I see myself, you know, and I'm like, God, if I could have just go back 10 years and tell myself, Casey, the answers lie in relaxing into being and knowing that there is enough time that you feeling at peace and calm and feeling like you are doing enough and actually enjoying your mother workout is going to get you the body. I wish I would have known that 10 years ago, but I didn't believe it. I was taught that you had to struggle, that you had to go without, that you had to starve, that you had to hate your food, that you had to be on and off, that things had to be hard to get results. Not true. I am not buying that bullshit anymore. When you should count calories is this, is when you need to know, like if you've got a coach looking at like, hey, all right, you're at 1,200 calories. We need to reverse diet you. Now we need you to be at like 1,500 so that we, we safely it's a safety thing it's not that you have to to lose weight or to or you're not good enough or you're going to fall off and gain 50 100 500 pounds it's more of a a logical thing like hey let's track your money let's track your calories that's about the only time i think you need to track your calories if something's going on and you need to like look at it otherwise no Next, burning calories. Now, I've been on the cover of magazines. I have trained women, professional women who's on magazines. We don't count fucking calories. We don't, I'm just gonna cuss now. Now I'm tired. This is calming tea. We don't count calories burned during workouts. We don't, we don't count calories burned during workouts. A red, red flag that there's some stuff in here going on. That's when the scale, the scale means something. It's like when your money means something. Like if I don't have 900,000 in my account, I am this. Like, y'all, we got to work on this, man. If you want freedom, you got to you gotta free your mind and your soul. Or it's not going to show on, in the gym, in the, in the finances, nothing. Not until you address the subconscious and your belief system. The sneaky stuff, man, it's sneaky. It's layered. So that's the two things about counting calories and counting uh, calories burned during workouts. Please stop doing it today and if you're worried about it and if you're scared I don't know tell me message me tell us all your stuff so we can help you 
Um, but it's not the way to go, man. It's not sexy, successful women. We don't do that. We don't count calories burned during workouts. We don't do that. We don't do that. What we do instead is we focus on emotional intelligence, self-mastery. We increase our awareness around what's driving us. We, we take time to slow down. Like for right now, if we just all sat here and we took a couple deep breaths together, let's do that. Can you do that? Can you do two more of those? Or do you feel like it's stupid and silly? Because if you feel like it's stupid and silly, that's why you're not hitting your goals. There's tons of anger and there's tons of fear of feeling vulnerable. But you already feel, feel that way because you don't have the body you want. And you don't have the life you want, and the job you want, and the money you want, and the man you want, and the girl you want. So it sounds to me you need to weigh your ego with everything else and take some MF deep breaths. It's a learned thing. I, I learned it as well. And all it is is trauma, man. All it is is shame, guilt, and weird, messed up, emotional misinformation. If you want tools to clear this, we have something called a neutralizer. I named it the karma cleanser today. We can help you. We, we Honestly, I just did a live in my free group going over all our programs, but I really want you to dig into some of my free content first. Those of you that don't know who I am, I have a 14 minute video that actually shows you why some people are stuck with their weight no matter what. kcship.com forward slash register. You go on there and it's a 14 minute video of me and I have a, a little board and I show you exactly how I increase my calories. So yes, go check that out. Um, if you need help because you, you don't have a lot of time, just shoot us a DM. And myself or my team will get with you and we'll find out your specific issues, like what you're struggling with. It could be hormones. It could be maybe you've struggled with weight your whole life and you're tired of it. You want to get to the bottom. You want to get to the reason why it's been a struggle. Um, so we just need to know what it's, what's going on. So let us know. Oh, Karen said this is literally the best program ever. Thank you, Karen. So let us know, and then we can kind of point you in the right direction. Like, hey, you need, you need to start with hormones first. You need to start with clearings first. You need to start with XYZ first. So that's what I would do if you don't have a lot of time. If you do have a lot of time, then shit, man, we got all the content you could ever want and need. So go watch that training, caseyship.com forward slash register. And for the love of God, stop counting calories burned during your workouts and actually enjoying yourself and feeling good when you leave. How about that? Feeling good. Your only job is to feel good. That's your only job. And if looking at those burn makes you feel good, well, what happens when you're not doing that? How can you still just feel good? And that's the goal. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. This is it. I've got a free training, caseyship.com forward slash register. Be sure to grab that and then join my free Facebook group and just reach out. Struggle is not required. So hit me up, caseyship.com forward slash register. Talk to you soon.